So let's do some comparison between the Arcus 5 internet tablet and the Arcus 43 internet tablet. So that was this one was released last year and this one is a new one on the left, the Arcus internet tablet. So let's see the size of the the screen. The screen there's a size difference, right? So it's 4.3 inch on here on the left and it's uh 4.8 inch on the right. So let's go let's do a browsing test if possible. Let's see how fast it is going on the New York Times. First we search for some reason it's not the same result. So then I click on New York Times and both at the same time. One, two, three. You see it loads faster on the left. Something goes on faster than this side. And um, for some reason this one is zoomed in a little bit. But it was loading faster over here. You saw that? It's really fast. They're both on the same Wi-Fi network. And um, I'm going to try and and click on the same the same uh, same story on both sides so I'll click again it's gonna be one two three Oop, I, I didn't click on the right at the same time on the left so it was slightly slower on the left but if I take uh, world I will click world at the same time on both sides See, something loads faster right here a little bit. This is because this is an ARM Cortex A8 45 nanometers, and it's 1 gigahertz over here, while it's uh, 800 megahertz, and it's uh, 65 nanometer, the OMAP uh, 3440, which is the old version. And now the new version is, is kind of significantly faster at loading stuff. Well, not to sh so sure how much faster, but... Let's click on the Facebook link. One, two, there, both. Ooh, that one opened it in a new, win new window. So, this default somehow view, I don't know how zoomed in I am. I zoom out again. Now here, I'm totally zoomed out. So let's, let's make sure I'm at the top of the page, like this. This is the difference in how much you see on the page. You basically get to see kind of the same stuff, right? Uh, well, in theory, it's like this down here because the address bar would be on top. But um, in terms of how much you see, if you if you kind of like enter the start browsing around so hopefully you can see how much difference there is on these two and let's try and see if we can see a difference between the touch screen sensitivity now I'm gonna like touch it like like this like ver very gently and nothing kind of registers that's why for the whole year I've been kind of uh, getting used to you have to kind of push, now it doesn't really bother, but you, you have to kind of push with the nail a little bit, right? And over here, let's take the same page. And now I'm going to touch it, oh, no, not double touch, but just touch it a little bit. Can you see that it's, it registers? Oh, not double touch, I'm not sure if there's still some, let's try it, it's... Oh, it double touches, but it's very sensitive. It's more sensitive. You still kind of like better to just touch a little bit, but you don't really need to like put the same kind of pressure as you had to do over here. Which I didn't mind actually. I didn't mind knowing where it's clicking, kind of like. You'd need to use the nails a little bit, but this one would not register anything at all. Like just a very, you know, soft kind of touch. Well, here, this this soft kind of thing, which usually is only capacitive, 
it is registering over here sometimes a little bit too much I guess where things are double touching but I don't know maybe they're still tweaking this and it's gonna be Android 2.2 soon so let's uh, enter another website on both at the same time I'll enter I'll start typing uh, well, to enter something you, you click just on the address bar over here but here you need to go and go and I'll, I'll type in uh, n Oh, I can't type at the same time anyways. Get over here, it's ready. Ooh. Dot com. Okay, that was not very uh, synchronized. So, I'll scroll down some reason it's I don't know. let's go on the same story on both sides so I'll take smartphone deathmatch I don't know what this is let's take this one the Malata smartbook article Click on both at the same time, okay? One, two. It loaded faster on the left. Just a little bit faster. So, you kind of get fewer icons on the desktop because the screen is smaller here right but it also fits easier in a pocket of course and the, the design is sync, uh, symmetric when you hold it like this well, on, on this one it, it's a little bit bigger on this side and thinner on that side I like it that it's symmetrical so both sides are the same so you can hold it like this and it kind of feels like uh, kind of like a phone, this is the phone thing where the tablet maybe can get from holding it horizontally to holding it more like like this a little bit more so over here on the Arcos 43 now I'm gonna try and uh, I'll stream some video over the network the Samba file sharing so I'm gonna try and uh, and stream some HD video over the Wi-Fi. So I'm pretty sure it's a Wi-Fi N that I have in, in over here. It is a Wi-Fi N, and the the router is not far from from here. It's in the same kind of same room. So I make sure that the sound is maxed. So this is a 720p MKV. So let's see, uh, is it gonna play smoothly? That was a test I did on the previous one, where it would not play smoothly. It would start like uh, jumping around a little bit, especially when I did over Wi-Fi. And, well, For now, the 720p, at least in this firmware, um, might not li really stream. I'll try to show you the specs of uh, let, let me go. Let me oops, not back. I'll go back here. I'll try to open the the text file, showing the specs of this this file. So this is a uh, 4.4 gigabytes. The bit rate is 5,000, nearly 6,000. High 4.1. So you 
get some information over here. And the audio is AC3 on this one. But um, if I try to play some local video, which is 720p right here, it is going to play back just fine. So hopefully they fix the maybe it's not fixable the the Wi-Fi issue because 720p MKV HD it might be a little bit too high bitrate for Wi-Fi streaming, which is kind of sad because it'd be nice to have a uh, you know like access to terabytes of MKV 720p files on the network, but perhaps it'll work fine if you just connect the USB host. So. What's up with the sound? And the seeking is, is pretty smooth and fast for 720p. And you can search on the internet what the specs are for this this show, what is called Band of Brothers. It's a joke. And it's synced. And it's the cool thing is that it's a D, D, DTS audio. So 720p is fine when it's local, when it's on USB, but for now at least, and on this pre-release kind of firmware, um, over the Wi-Fi, at least my Wi-Fi might not support 720p streaming, but any other video, you can have terabytes of, of standard resolution videos, and they will work fine actually. So let's take some, any like, Standard resolution video is going to stream the your... Tonight, the Tea Party is winning midterm primary. Yeah. It was st so that 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 streams fine. Uh, so that was this kind of like random overview. What's going on? And I'll ask Arcos what's up with the Wi-Fi streaming of 720p content. If there's any hope for that, or maybe it's my Wi-Fi setup right here. Um, but otherwise, hopefully uh, Arcos will support NTFS hard drives on the USB host uh, and not only X3 hard drives with the Linux format right now and FAT32 format uh, which works right now but then it's not big enough for, for 720p MKV files because we need to support more than 4, ter four gigabyte per file so I think uh, Arcos said there trying to get NTFS to work on the USB host. So right here you would connect a two terabyte hard disk and then you can play your your 720p files like that because on the built-in storage you could you can support you can format it as X3. Then you have you can actually store the 720p files on the device. But the, the, the storage is limited anyways and so that's why I think it's kind of nicer if you can just get access to terabytes of movies either on the network but if it doesn't work on the network then at least on the USB host so I'll do some more tests later and show you more it's just uh, to show the quality of the screen I think it's not bad at all it's a really cool device I want to test the voice of IP maybe I should just test it because I have the device right here so I can just like uh, launch some Sibdroid or some Nimbus or some other worse of IP. I'll do that very soon.